Hello, welcome to the video series for the subject, Business Organization, this video focuses, on the first chapter of the subject. In this video we are going to take a look at human activities. If you have any questions regarding the topic, feel free to ask your questions in the comments sections below. Now let's get dive into the topic, this video mainly covers a detailed summary, Business Organization, Unit 1. The business organization topic, saying simply, it covers the details about identifying broad categories of human activities. Describing what is business. List the features and objectives of business. Classifying business activities, explaining the nature of business organization. In our day-to-day -day life, we use words like business, commerce, trade, industry, etc. quite often. These words have a definite meaning in business organization. The next topic is Human activities All the activities in which we, thus, participate from morning till night are called human activities. If you closely examine the human activities, you will find that some of these produce economic benefits. Some other activities, do not produce any direct economic benefits. We can classify the human activities into two groups, 1, non-economic activities, and 2, economic activities. Non-economic activities are the activities which are conducted by the human beings due to, love and affection, social obligation, religious obligation, physical requirement, patriotism, etc. but not for earning money. The sum of the examples are, the housewife cooking for the family, children to and playing games, people going to a temple or a mosque for prayer, a social worker working for the uplift of the poor, etc. Persons who participate in such activities do not any direct economic benefit. On the other hand, economic activities are the activities which are undertaken by human beings for earning money or livelihood. These economic activities are concerned with production, exchange and distribution of goods and services. Some of the examples are, doctor working in the hospital, a teacher working in a school, going to his office, a farmer working in the field, etc. They are all doing this to earn his or her livelihood or to acquire wealth. We can further classify these economic activities into three groups. Business, profession, and employment. Now about business. It is any activity carried primarily with the object of earning profit. This objective of earning profit is achieved by production and, or exchange of want satisfying goods and services. Therefore, we can define business as any activity concerned with the production and, or exchange of want satisfying goods and services carried with a view of earning profit. Some examples of business are, production of soaps, sale of eggs, production of TV sets, transport, etc. A person who is engaged in business is called a businessman, or entrepreneur. Similarly, a firm formed for the purpose of carrying a business activity is called a business enterprise or a business firm. Talking about profession we can say it as an activity which involves the rendering of personalized services of a specialized nature, based on professional knowledge, education, and training. Generally, for each category of profession, there would be a professional body. The professional body prescribes the nature and type of educational qualifications and training required to practice the concerned profession. A professional should become the member of concerned professional body and follow the code of conduct prescribed by such body. Professionals charge some fee for the professional service they render. That's how a professional make profit from the economics activity. Continuing on. Any activity assigned to a person by the employer under an agreement or rules of service comes under the category of employment. A person who undertakes such activity is called employee. For performing such activity, the employee receives remuneration from the employer in the form of wage or salary, allowance, bonus, etc. The employment is also called service. Even professionally qualified persons also work as employees in various organizations. Although business, profession, and employment are distinguished from each other, they are also interdependent. 
business enterprises provide employment to a large number of people in the country. Similarly, professionals like engineers, chartered accountants, cost accountants, management consultants, legal experts, doctors, etc., work with the business firms for tackling complicated technical problems. Thus, business enterprises provide employment opportunities to professionals and general public. At the same time the success of the business is dependent on its employees and professionals working with it. With all that said we are going to wind up this tutorial for now, this was a brief lecture based on the basic economic concepts, we will continue this tutorial over next lecture, with more additional topics, check out the link below for the next tutorial video, if you want a video tutorial about a specific topic, you can request below in comments. If you have any questions regarding the topic, feel free to ask your questions in the comments sections below. Click subscribe button, to follow this course, and to get notified when the next lecture video gets out.